deep fear explored. This game could have been better than Resident Evil if it was explored by Sega. Deep Fear is a survival horror video game from the Sega Saturn, released in 1998 by Sega AM7 and System Satcom. In Europe, it was the final Saturn game to be published. The game was an underwater take on the survival horror genre, popularized by Capcom's Resident Evil, and was released for Saturn gamers in Europe and Japan. Kenji Kawai wrote the music, while cartoonist Yasushi Nirasawa created the monsters and characters. Unique gameplay elements include buttons that allow players to utilize things in real time, being able to aim while moving, and the concept of decreasing oxygen levels. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Fear Upon the Big Table Gameplay Mechanics, Design, and Overall Reception You play the game as John May, a civilian rescuer on the Big Table, a Pacific Seafloor submarine refueling depot. When an old spacecraft drops out of orbit and crashes nearby, his entire life turns upside down. Former occupants of the ship have mutated into horrible creatures. John must fight these terrifying beasts while also investigating the research center and completing minor riddles, a common characteristic of typical survival horror. While the formula is nearly identical to Resident Evil, Deep Fear differs significantly from and even outperforms the competition in certain respects. The combat is one of the most significant enhancements in Deep Fear. Unlike Resident Evil, which required players to stand stationary while aiming their weapons, Deep Fear allowed you to fire and move at the same time making warfare far more fluid. The Big Table keeps a big stock of ammo for a variety of weapons. The weapon storage chambers are where the weapons and ammo are kept. However, some encryption is enforced, and certain weapons can only be acquired by the Big Table's most powerful members. One can gain these weapons by obtaining the relevant weapon storage pass cards. The oxygen supply on the Big Table is running out. As a result, one of the most important aspects of survival is to replenish low oxygen zones in order to avoid asphyxiation. Excessive usage of weapons causes the oxygen supply to be depleted more swiftly. In certain regions, yellow oxygen containers known as air systems can be used to refill oxygen an endless number of times. Deep fear feels urgent due to the constant influx of adversaries and the limited air supply. You almost never take your time touring and exploring the facility, since you're always trying to avoid choking before reaching the next replenishment point. Deep Fear is a good-looking game in terms of graphics. The game's landscapes are pre-rendered backgrounds, viewed from a fixed perspective, similar to Resident Evil, but the character models are generated in real time. Despite the fact that the models are a touch crude around the edges, they are sufficiently realistic. Although the pre-rendered backgrounds are attractive, the game's bland atmosphere renders them unremarkable. Everything appears to be either clinical or industrial, making many locations visually unappealing. The music is well done with decent SFX and background tracks. While the voice acting is not up to the mark, it will appeal to anyone who enjoys corny horror dialogue. In addition, the narrative is entertaining and contains a few unexpected turns later in the game. All of the voice acting, as well as a substantial amount of the menus, text, and visual cues are in English in the Japanese version. The game was the last Saturn game to be released in Europe, and it was launched on June 30th, 1998. Marvelous Verdict Deep Fear may have been Saturn's final game, but it was a solid one. Ensuring that the console wasn't merely tossed overboard like a gash, but could be laid to rest in peace at sea. The game has great narrative and characters. Commander Clancy is far more developed as an opponent than Wesker's mustache-twirling comic malevolence could ever be, as well as some truly cinematic cutscenes that still look great even today. Deep Fear is an excellent addition to Saturn's survival horror collection. The game, although not flawless, does enough to justify a playthrough. This underwater nightmare is a rescue operation every lover of survival horror should sign up for. 
With a fascinating premise and great combat mechanisms, Deep Fear is a horror game that every true fan of the genre must check out. Sega does a fine job presenting the gaming community with a holistic survival horror experience with Deep Fear. Bland voice acting, frequent but predictable enemies, and rough environment modeling aside, the game is a good title to spend your weekend with. Once the campaign ends, there is not much to do, and there is very little replay value. But that does not stop Deep Fear from being one of the most memorable titles that were compared with the likes of Resident Evil. Did you enjoy our review of the game? For more such content on gaming and esports, please do subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click on the like button and hit the bell icon so that you never miss an upload. Until next time, stay marvelous.